So let's talk about more Magic Origins. And I love Magic Origins. It is probably going to be my favorite set. I do look forward to going to its pre-release, especially since it's like my birthday. Um, yeah, pre-release, all these spoilers come out in my birthday. So I'll do that Jace contest that I was talking about sometime later when it gets a little closer. So I don't forget. Uh, Magic Origins flip Planeswalker. So remember how Delver flips when you do something to activate it. And in Delver's case, and probably in Jace, Jace's case too, you could play you know, Jace for two. And then like if you reveal the instant, maybe he flips into a different version of Jace on the backside. I would love, love the flip mechanic. So you have legendary creature because they were not planeswalkers back then, so they shouldn't be, you know, their creature type shouldn't be planeswalkers. They should be just legendary creatures, or their card type should not be planeswalkers, and they shouldn't have any of those planeswalkers abilities. They should just be legendary creatures. And then when you do something like maybe in Chandra, it would be like, hey, if you cast, if you deal five damage to your opponent. Then Chandra flips over and from a legendary creature becomes a planeswalker. How epic would that be? That would be a fantastic way to uh, show how somebody ignites their spark. And so leave a comment below if you guys feel like that's a good idea, do you feel like it's a bad idea? Like, the only issue I had was I played a lot during Dark Ascension and it was a car card called Hunt Master of the Fells. And then it became Ravager of the Fells. And that card was very, very good. So every deck played it, and a lot of people would have, you know, the flip card, and then they would, you know, so we had flip cards back then for Innistrad and Dark Ascension, and then they would flip it up and then put the real card in. That was kind of annoying, slightly annoying, but definitely less, less, much less annoying than the Festlands right now, where, hey, Cracker Fetch, turn one, you know, do, 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 do. You know, and then every and then your opponent's like, okay, I crack a fetch too. Turn two, oh, I, I crack another fetch. And that's pretty much why, I mean, if you're talking about annoyance level, it, it can be dealt with. And especially if these decks were, or these planeswalkers were very traditional mono-colored planeswalkers. Or maybe they're multi-colored planeswalkers. They could be, maybe they're, uh, Liliana is a white legendary creature who is like a healer because that's her story, right? If I'm butchering their stories, then just leave a comment below because I don't actually know. But like Liliana is a healer and now she's a white legendary creature for two white. And then, you know, let's say a creature dies, like, like two creatures die and then she feels really bad and then she becomes the Liliana we love and the Liliana that's right here. And then maybe she can get Chain Veil and all that type of stuff. But the Planeswalkers are going to be very good. And the reason I know they're going to be very good is because they wanted to reprint Liliana of the Veil. Liliana of the Veil's power level is insane. It is insane. Like, I don't know how... But they were willing to reprint it. And if Mono Black was not the number one deck back then, they, will, they would have reprinted it. Magic Origins has to be epic. It has to be epic for so many reasons, but the primary reason is, uh, well, in my previous video, I kind of alluded to this. It has to make players who haven't been playing Magic for a long time uh, and playing Corset. No one likes Corset. Like, I can tell you that. Like, Corset like, has improved a lot, but back then, like, 7th edition, 8th edition, no, you just buy the expansion packs because Corset was for like beginners or intermediate, I guess was how they called it. And you really didn't, no one should have, there were not that many good cards outside of Birds of Paradise being printed in Corset. So, but that's ridiculous because Alpha and Beta and Unlimited, they were the first Corsets and they had ridiculously powerful cards. And I would love, love if the planeswalkers, you know, just this once, all five of them were very good. And when I mean very good, I mean Liliana of the Veil levels. And a lot of people will say, hey, that's too strong, that's too strong, but this is the last core set ever. You know, it is the last core set, and there's been so many, so many. What, 16? So how do you 
from the very beginning of Magic was a core set. How do you transition from, you know, this having created the entire game? Oh yeah, Birds of Paradise should be back too, by the way. Uh, you know, being so important to the game of Magic and saying goodbye to it. Uh, you can only do it in the most with the most epic Planeswalkers ever. Um, so maybe you guys have ideas for Planeswalkers. I'll probably do a contest sometime later, but you can leave your comments below about what type of Planeswalkers you want to see. Bye guys.